Hey guys, it's Vixella, and today we are doing another speed build. Today I wanted to do something a little bit on the smaller side, since the last build I did was a little bit on the bigger side. I thought I would, you know, kind of a, to tone it down a little for this one. And I wanted to do something like, uh, very, very homey, but very like, I guess more cute. <laughs> I feel like the last one I did was very like intense. But I wanted this one to be very cute, very not so intimidating. I was very intimidated by my own build last time. I guess that's a good thing though. But anyways, I had started off with like thinking I wanted to do like a cottagey type thing, but then I was like, mmm, that kind of goes back to like the Tudor style, which I have done a bunch of now. <laughs> or actually, what, like two, three? <laughs> that's not really that much. But anyways, wanted to take a bit of a break from it. So I loved that at first with the curved roofs. I thought it was so fun like fancy looking, not fancy, but I, thought, I just thought it was pretty. And then I changed my mind. Uh, a little while in, you'll see me, I'll change them back to like a, just a regular like straight roof. Um, I don't know why, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I was having a really difficult time deciding whether or not to do it, but I decided against it in the end because I just wanted it to be a cute like family home for like small families. Um, especially, like I said, since the last one I did was huge, I was like, all right, we need to tone it down a little bit, kind of, um, keep it, keep it chill for this one. But I ended up really loving this house, like, way more than, like, I had thought I was going to. Like, I thought I was going to like it, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have uploaded it. But I was, like, really happy with it when I was done. Again, working on the insides as much as possible, trying to practice and, and try to really really think about it you know before I, I uh, lay it out and everything so I always try to uh, really imagine like a real house like I try to think of all the houses that I've lived in and like what they look like and how they work and you know like what hallways look like and you know stuff like that so the only thing that I thought was weird in this house was like the windows but I was just kind of experimenting, so I don't really mind. <laughs> I mean, I made it work in the end, so it's okay. <laughs> I love that one window there on the right. Like, I didn't want to put a window on the bottom, but then I did at the same time. Because it kind of looks like a tower. Isn't that really cute? Like, if it was like Rapunzel. I don't know. It, makes, it reminds me of a tower. And I was like, oh, it's so pretty. It's so cute. And I didn't want to put a window there, but I ended up doing it anyways. Because I just, I just wanted to put a window there in the end. But I covered it in nice uh is it it's not oh it's vines that's what it is like it's not grass is it it's like more what well, kind of looks like grass maybe like moss what is that supposed to be vines moss y you guys know what i'm talking about it's right there <laughs> it's already on the screen and i didn't even notice uh i covered it in that stuff but i ended up changing it to not right there i changed it to like right next to like on the right of it um i changed it to have like a bunch of green and then i put in there's like a red color on those vine leaf things and when I mixed it in with the other colors it looked like it had roses in there and I was like that is gorgeous so I ended up doing that like a ton well not a ton because I didn't want to overdo it but I did it in a way where you could really really see it and like uh, I did it in like the biggest way possible without overdoing it or at least what I thought was not overdoing it maybe I did who knows but I really ended up liking it a lot it was so pretty I loved it I was like, I'm definitely going to keep this in mind because uh, I had seen the red color before, but just kind of paid it no attention, you know? Uh, but then like when I mixed it in, I was like, whoa, that's beautiful. So I had to use it. And you'll see how I like, I changed up a lot of this. Like it's got like the general shape of it, of course, but it's like, I changed it quite a bit. And there's like a big portion of like certain spots where I stopped recording because I was like this is gonna take some time like I was like I really need to like think about it and like when I went to the inside that's like a part that I stopped recording at only for a little bit because I was trying to what I've been doing is trying to figure out the shape of the rooms while also putting furniture in at the same time like basic furniture just to see if it would work so I would test out different spots with like countertops couches like see what would be a good living room space and I really think I don't know I'm very like 
Hmm, how do I feel about the downstairs? The down the downstairs is always weird for me. <laughs> it, I always feel weird about it. It's okay, I really love the kitchen. It's very, very, very tiny. But it's super cozy and I think it's really cute and I think it, it really worked out like better than I thought. The living room is a little strange, but doable. Like it's okay, like it doesn't make me feel too weird but I love the kitchen. I think the kitchen is so cute in this house. It's probably one of my favorite things. And it it took like no time, which is weird, but oh, see, there's the red. I saw it and I was like, oh baby. Now we have we have uh, discovered something new. I was like, this could be the start of something new. <laughs> oh, you guys, I sing that song so much around like New Year's. <laughs> Oh, no one's New Year's is ever going to top that one. Let's be real. But anyways, back to what I was saying. The kitchen is my favorite. The upstairs, I think, flows well. It, I think it definitely flows better than some of the other ones. Um, I tried, because like, I always think I, I think I try to put in too many rooms. Like, it used to be too, like, too Wait, two less? That's that sounds weird. I didn't put in enough rooms, okay. Uh, and then now I feel like I tried to put in too many. So I'm trying to like find the balance between the two, but I really, really like how the upstairs looks in this house as well. I think it came out pretty well. So yeah. And uh, I think I already skipped. Yeah, I definitely skipped because <laughs> uh, I, I did the front already. But I don't know if you guys saw it. Maybe for like a brief second you did, but It'll go back to the front because I have to do the landscaping and some of the leaves do poke out like when you look at the like upstairs They do kind of poke out a little bit at the top. It doesn't really bother me though um, Like it doesn't poke through the walls like I always try to like fix that because I know it bothers a lot of people But it was like poking out like through the top because it's like I you know I had move objects on and I was kind of like adjusting it to where it needed to be So it kind of pokes out a little bit uh, it doesn't go through though, so I feel like it's okay. I'm just gonna just gonna keep telling myself that. It doesn't really bother me. After a while, I completely stopped even noticing that it was there. So uh, yeah, but you can see how that looks with the red. I really like it. Now, at first, I did kind of think it looked like it had like a disease. <laughs> like I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking, but I I ended up like I just looked at it differently, and I was like, they kind of look like roses though, and I kind of really love that. So. I definitely was like, oh yeah, this is uh, this is my new favorite thing now. So I was super excited about discovering that little that little feature. And yeah, so I that's something I've tried to work on a little bit is experimenting with some of the different colors. Oh, here you can see the front. There's the front. And I was trying to find a window set to put in the middle right there. It like was driving me nuts. Uh, but I ended up going with something really simple, and it just it worked. But now we are doing the landscaping, and of course I'm putting in my favorite of all things which is hedges you guys know I love my hedges I love them I love them and I love when you guys comment about it because it makes me laugh so hard <laughs> I always laugh when you guys are like mm, yeah we see those hedges and I'm like yeah I know <laughs> I always laugh I think it's so funny <laughs> you guys crack me up but anyways yep there is the little it looks a little weird in this lighting I'm not gonna lie but the lighting for this particular lot was a little bit weird. I always have the hardest time finding lots that have good lighting. They just, they're weird. Some of them are very weird. But uh, yeah, this is on the smallest of lot sizes. So it's on like a 20 by 15, very small. Um, so I think it's still pretty expensive. It wasn't supposed to be a starter home or anything like that. I'll try to make some. I think you guys have re requested a few. I think, I think I've seen it a few times now about making some starter homes, like actual starter homes that you guys can afford like when you when you create new sims. Because I know I think I've made some starter homes in the past and you know, they were like the size of a starter home, but they were definitely not the cost. Like I think this one was maybe 90 something thousand, if I'm correct, I think. Oh, and I just want to give myself props for this because I never do this. Where that fire, or not the fireplace, the chimney is, over there, there is actually a fireplace on the first floor in that exact spot. Are you proud? Are you proud of me? Because I'm pretty proud. <laughs> I, had, I had it planned, okay? <laughs> I was like, all right, we're going to put it on a chimney. And there's actually going to be a fireplace there. I'm going to blow their minds. <laughs> and then I was also using the, like, the, 
not the biggest rock, but the second biggest rock. And I was using the red color because I, I think it's very pretty, but I never like, I could never find a use for it. So in this one, I was using it just like to mix in a little bit of red color in there to kind of match the house and like the red rose type feel, but um, I had mixed it in just randomly. You can barely even tell that they're rocks. It just looks like little red spots, but I think it's really pretty. It's a very pretty color. It's like a rich kind of red. I don't know. It's very pretty, but here I was making like little like stepping stones and they have those in the rugs and I, they're actually stone. So I think that's, I think that's what they're for, I think, but I, I just like doing the terrain paints a little bit better. I just thought it looked a little bit more a little bit more like subtle I guess because the other ones look they were like too big probably I think that's what it was and then also I'm not sure if I was thinking about that being a pond over there or being a pool I don't know it's very small so I feel like it would be a very sorry pool but you know what even if I had a pool that was that size I'd still be pretty happy I'm not gonna lie I'd still swim in it on the daily. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now this is where we go to the inside and you see how there's already some furniture placed down. It's not because like I forgot or anything. I basically did the whole kitchen and I didn't mean to, but I was like, I started trying to figure out if that was a good shape for it or like, you know, trying to place things where they should go. And by the time I had like figured it out, it was pretty much done, but I haven't done any of the wallpapering or anything like that or any other like little decorations and I also think I forgot a sink in there at this point so I I go back and put one in there but you'll see it more I like it a lot it's my favorite little spot in the house and then like the the dining room is like a little bit around the corner but it, I don't really think it's a big deal I think it's okay and then I ended up making that little spot on the right of the living room a bathroom because it was like a very weird shape and I I was like you know what I think everybody needs like at least one bathroom on the downstairs. Uh, bathroom on the downstairs in, oh wait, bath, one bathroom downstairs. What? I don't know, I just completely confused myself, but yeah. And then on the left side of the living room, I think I turned that into just like a little seating area, like downstairs study kind of thing. There is an office in the house upstairs like a full office with a computer, but that little spot right there is just like a little, maybe it's like a reading, like a reading spot, you know? It's got like some bookshelves and then a couple of chairs and those little bay windows, which are my favorite. I think I've put those in every house I've built since I've figured out how to do it. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are my favorite, but they're my favorite in real life. Like. You know, you guys know if you watch if you watch my speed builds, you know you're up to date uh, that I am currently looking um, for a house because I'm moving, and so I'm like every time that one of these houses has those bay windows, which are like if you don't know are those like diagonal ones that make like that half circle shape. Those windows are so beautiful. I love them so much. <laughs> They're so pretty. They're my favorite. They've always been my favorite, like since I was a kid, because I used to always. Um, I used to always think about like a castle when I saw them. I was like, oh, the house looks like a castle because it has like that that shape, you know, like the, the windows on the left there. That's like what I'm talking about. But it looks like it reminds me of a castle. I don't know. Um, but I used to think that all the time when I was a kid and it kind of stuck with me forever. So now I always call them castle houses. But a lot of the houses I've looked at have those windows and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> cannot handle it. <laughs> they're so beautiful. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, there was this one house I looked at, guys. It was way too expensive for anything I could afford, but it was beautiful. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? You always, you just like look at houses that you know that you cannot afford by any means, but they're just so gorgeous. You can't help but look like they're just so nice. Uh, if anything, it encourages us all to work harder <laughs> so we can afford the, these nice things. But anyways, the, uh, the <laughs> those windows are so gorgeous. They're so beautiful. I love them so much. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think you saw the kitchen just now. I put in the sink um, and I was going to take out the sink and put in a dishwasher instead because there isn't that much counter space. So I was like, maybe I should, you know, skip the sink and put in just like a dishwasher. But then... I was like, mm, most kitchens have sinks. <laughs> most kitchens, I well, at least for me, uh, have sinks and a dishwasher. 
Uh, but I was like, there was not enough room for all that. Or it looked a little bit weird, so I was like, nah. Anyways, oh, we're already on the upstairs. That was fast. Uh, yeah, this, this house didn't take me nearly as long as some of the other ones, of course, because it is a lot smaller, so that probably helps. But uh, it took me about um, maybe like a day and a half to do everything, so not, not too, too long. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit faster than, you know, the typical three days it takes me. But yeah. So I love this bathroom. It's also one of my favorite rooms in the house, which is weird because it's a bathroom, but I, I love it. I think it's so cute. Maybe it's those blue walls. Do you think it's those blue walls that are getting me? Because I really like them. That color is so relaxing. I don't know. And then uh, anyways, so we go up the stairs and I have my little half walls again around the staircase because I discovered that and I'm very happy about it. Uh, but then I have a little seating area as, as always when you walk up the stairs. And yeah, oh, that little painting of the, is that a sunflower? No, those, yep, they're just yellow flowers. I can't tell if they're sunflowers or not right now, but that is like my favorite painting in the whole game. And that seems really silly because it's like so plain and so small, but it really is. It's my favorite one. I feel like it's very versatile. Versatile? Versatile? I don't know. But yeah, it, it fits in like every color scheme or situation. I don't know. It always works. It's my go-to painting. I think I used it twice in this house. Which is actually pretty good. Usually I'd use it a lot more than that. I try not to, but you know, what can you what can you do? Then I had to end, I had to change that bed, which was it made me sad because I was like, oh, I wanted a double bed in there so bad. But I ended up really liking this room. Uh, it looks a lot like a room I used to have actually. Now that I'm looking at it, but um, I really like the way that it came out when I was finished. It looks very uh, I don't know. I just I don't know. It flows well. I like it. I like this room a lot. I think it's my favorite room out of all of the ones I did. Which I only did two. I was going to do three, but I changed the last one to an office. And I was trying to experiment with different colors and I found this orange color that I really like. Very, very difficult to match a bed though to that color. It is so difficult. This is one of those cases where uh, creative style would really come in handy. We could just, you know, pick and choose our own colors and designs. That would be great. I think that is one of the things I miss now that I, I really like building. I've really gotten into it. If you guys can tell, I've uploaded quite a few speed bulbs and sp speed boots. Sp <laughs> quite a few speed boots in the past <laughs> like week or so. It's just like crazy, but I love it. I love building. It's extremely therapeutic. Uh, for someone like me. <laughs> uh, I have really bad anxiety, so whenever I uh, can find something that I can focus on really hard, uh, I, it tends to stick with me. Like, yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> so this is one of those things that like keeps me extremely focused, you know, and just put on some music, just build away. It's super nice. I love it. It's very relaxing. So I love it. I love building. I won't, I refuse to stop. <laughs> But I need to, I want to experiment with some different styles of building, but I'm a, I'm like, I'm always so scared to go out of my comfort zone, of course. But we shall, uh, we shall prevail. But anyways, that is it for the build. So it, you can see it a lot better in this lighting. I love the way that looks. And there is the backyard. I kept it pretty open so that you could explore the rest of your little district that you wanted to. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the pictures. I hope you guys enjoy the build. And I will speak to you guys very, very soon.